Stacks. This podcast is at the basic level and requires no knowledge of Accordance Bible software, Hebrew, or Greek. One of Accordance 12's favorite new features is Stack. It's a convenient place to store all sorts of information, quotes, images, text clippings, and our own reflections. Stacks are even more powerful when paired with Accordance 12's new composition feature, paper. A stack is a place to save information instantly with a click or a keystroke. It will store all kinds of content, citations, ideas, graphics, notes, comments, and so on. Retain bibliographic information for each item. Reopen an item source with a simple click. Organize items within a stack manually or automatically by topic, type of resource, date, or favorites, and then we can drag and drop items into a paper or another stack. We can open a stack using the library, the new tab menu under File, and the toolbar button. We can also use the selection menu, even if we haven't yet selected anything. The stack tab is very similar to other tabs in accordance with very few differences. The drop-down tab menu is familiar, as are the plus button to add another tab and the double A button to change the display size of the font. However, the stack tab also contains a menu that allows us to switch stacks or open a brand new one and a button to add a user item to the stack. The familiar action menu contains a variety of ways to sort the stack and a place to make the open stack the current one. Stacks can also be organized manually simply by dragging and dropping items. Each item in a stack is packed with information. Along the side we have a title, which typically contains a verse reference, chapter or article name, a place to type personal comments, the content itself, and its source, which we can click to reopen. Along the top there's a delete button, a place to mark the item as a favorite, and a button to copy the information, title, comment, content, and source, to the clipboard. The background color of the stack item indicates the type of source, and the date and time the item was added to the stack is displayed on the bottom right. Most of this information is automatic and fixed. We can edit the title and the comment of a stack item, and we can also toggle the favorite button. There are four different categories of stack items. The background of each is color-coded for easy identification. A yellow background designates a text citation. Blue identifies the stack item as containing an image. Green indicates a user item. And red is a tool citation. There are several different ways to add tool or text citation items to a stack. The simplest is to select a block of text and type Option-Command-K on a Mac or Alt-Control-K on a PC. That will add the selection to the current stack, as will simply clicking on the Stack button on the toolbar. For those who prefer to use menus, we can also use the Selection menu, which will add the item to any stack, whether it's the current one or not. Image items include a variety of visual resources, maps, graphs, illustrations, and photos. For many of these images, simply clicking on one and typing Option-Command-K will add it to the stack. Some images will first open in Picture Viewer, after which we can then type the keyboard shortcut. Images in Picture Viewer, the Accordance Atlas, and some other resources also support selection triangles. Drawing one, then typing the keyboard shortcut, will add just that section of the image to the stack. Now, images from sources outside Accordance can also be added to a stack, though we add those using user items, which we'll cover next. User items are the catch-all of stacks. They contain everything else. Accord links, URLs, information copied from the internet, our own ideas and reflections, images and graphics from our own files, or the internet. Adding a user item works in reverse. Rather than making a selection, then adding the item, we add a user item first by clicking the button in the tab header, then manually type or paste the information in the content field. The exception here are the images. Don't try to paste an image into the contents field, it just won't work. Instead, 
click the item in the blank space to the right of the contents field and paste. Accordance will paste the image there and the background color will then switch to blue, indicating that the item is changed from a user item to an image item. Unlike other items, user items do not automatically include sources, so they won't generate a footnote and a bibliographic entry when transferred to paper. That means we must be careful to document the information manually. Stack items can be organized manually by dragging and dropping. We can also use any one of a number of automatic sorts just by using the action menu. We can also use drag and drop to move stack items into different stacks or papers. For example, if our original stack gets too large and we decide to use a different stack for each topic, we can just transfer an item from one stack to another. That will delete the item from the original stack unless we decide to copy it to the new stack by pressing the Option or Alt key during the process. Moving a stack item to a paper does not delete it from the stack. Our assumption is that people may use the same stack to generate many different kinds of content, so they, well you, would probably prefer to keep your research intact. Papers can be printed from within accordance or exported to a word processor for further refining, but that's a topic for a different podcast. Here's a quick chart of the various kinds of field and stack items and how they work. The title is present in all items. While it is auto-filled, we can edit it in the stack to help organize the stack. The comment field is available in all stack items. It's a place to preserve personal notes, reflections, and critiques. It can be edited everywhere. The content field is also present in all items. It's auto-filled with our selection in every item except user items, which are also the only ones in which we can edit the field within stack. We can edit these direct quotes in paper or in a word processor. Images are always present in image items, though we can also paste them into a user item, at which point it becomes an image item, as we said before, but without the accompanying source. We can't edit images in either stack or paper, though we can once we export them to a word processor. The source is present in every item except a user item, we can then click the source in a stack to open the original resource to that location. Once an item is inserted into a paper, Accordance uses the source to automatically generate a footnote and a bibliographic entry, both formatted according to the paper's preferences. We can't edit either in a paper either, but can once we export the paper to a word processor. The idea here is to keep all the information in them pristine until the very final edit. The date is the only field that doesn't transfer at all. It just records the date we added the item and does not update, even if the item is edited. Stacks are just one of Accordance 12's great new features. As we mentioned earlier, stacks have become very popular in just the few short months since this version's release. If you haven't tried them yet, let me encourage you to do so. You're certain to be impressed with this new, easy way to save the results of your research. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp.